Hi everybody, this is Mariposa Makeup 13 and this, my name is Vanessa. I'm gonna try to do today a makeup look using this eye palette here. I don't know if you guys could see it, but yeah, this eye palette here is actually, I can't remember what year I got it, but it's actually really good. It has nice colors, but you can't really see because I've been using all of these a lot. So I'm gonna try using the purple, the green, and the... And this one here is like a brown. So we're going to see how it goes. I have everything beside me. So just go along with me. I'm going to right now. I'm going to try to use the concealer as. Yes, the concealer. This one here. Of CoverGirl. As my eye primer. So I'm going to put this right here. Right on my. And then I'm going to use. Um, the blending uh, sp sponge here. This one here which I had sprays, uh, the setting spray on it. And I'm gonna use this palette too, to start, see, see, so I could blend it out here to make it look nice. And then I will be able to do the eyeshadow looking really, really nice. So yeah, it's looking, it's easy to do. Plus, oh my God, I love make, doing makeup. Because it's like something that actually helps out me out, actually. I don't know what you guys think, but it is looking perfect. So now I am ready for the next step, which I'm going to use for the first... I'm going to go for the dark. I always go for the dark. So I'm going to use this one here. It's called Dirty Bang. And this is from Too Faced. And the, the eye palette is Glamour Revolution. But I don't think you guys could find it because it's like I said, I'm not sure what year this is from. I wish to know so then I could tell you. But and the thing is that you're not going to find it because I think this was like uh, from a holiday or something. So it's uh, like a limited edition. So I'm going to see what I have all my brushes near me. So I think I'm going to go with this brush. I don't doesn't have a number or name. But I have a different collection, so I like to use this brush. And I'm going to pick up the dirty bag here. See? And like I said, I'm going to use this uh, eye palette because I like the mirror. So I'm going to use the mirror. And I'm going to start placing it right here. See? Right there. And then blend it out. Like I say, it's always... The trick is always to blend out because... That's going to make the eye color look nice, the, the eyeshadows and stuff. If you don't blend, then it's going to look like all the colors in one spot. So no, you, you, you really want it to work nicely. So then it goes perfect and smooth. And I don't, and like I say, take your time. Don't rush because that's the secret actually. If you rush, then it's gonna look not gonna look good actually. So I don't know if you could see, but it's looking perfect because I like how it's blending now. It's looking not too what's it called too sharp or strong like they say, but just perfect. And I just keep on doing it because it smooths out the edges and stuff. And I think I have it. So now I'm going to go to the next eye because I already have put the concealer there. So I'm going to get again the shade, dirty bag, and I'm going to start right here, right there. See? And and if you want more, you go back and you pat it more, more on the eye. But um, I don't sometimes, sometimes I do go back for more because it depends um, on the pigment of the eyeshadow. Well, so far, it's looking perfect. It's supposed to, I'm trying to match it like this one here. Well, let's hope it does. Let's hope it does. How is your day of everybody going? My day is good. Just making some time to do my makeup. 
because I think you always have to try to look your best. I know I try sometimes. I take a break, like maybe a day or two. I don't wear makeup just to give a breathe, like they say, to my skin because I like to take care of it. But um, or else I usually have makeup, even though I don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be here. It's no problem. Just blending it out. See? Blending it out, you have a. But you could actually. It's better, you could actually use a fluffy brush to blend it out. Yeah. Like that, see? Blending, blending, blending as much as you can. And I go back on this eye and I keep on blending. And don't worry about that because after what I use is, um, the makeup remover the one i don't know if you guys remember but for the eye i have a makeup remover so i just clean it with a um paper cloth or or something like that and i go and i make the edges really nice and i'm gonna keep on what i'm going to do right now is this is like, I think this is like for like eyeliner or something, but I'm going to use this brush here and I'm going to try to cut the crease while I'm doing this. It's the first time I'm trying to do it like that because I usually record it when I already did it, right? But now I'm going to try to do it while I am with you guys. And it's looking like that, see? Like I say, guys, it's practice. Practice, practice. I used to be not good in doing this, but, um, what's it called? I, I started doing practicing on my own. And maybe you're not perfect in the first moment, but it doesn't matter because you, you take it off, you say, okay, you know what? I'll give it a try. That's how I was sometimes. My god, you guys should have seen how it was for me when I was younger. Didn't even put primer, didn't so much, so many things. One day I'm gonna try to do the look I did when I was younger. You guys will be shocked. Really. Because I used um, the foundation stick and I would just apply it and then I would probably put the eyeliner, the mascara, and maybe the foundation stick will be too dark, so it will make me look like I'm tanned or something. Plus, the gloss I would wear, it would be so glossy, and I don't know if they still have it, but oh my gosh, that was the look I did. And back then, that was really good. Wow, that is shocking. Very shocking. Very, very shocking. So, I have to go in the corner Close the door, close the door. The corner right here, I'm gonna try to go with the green. Uh oh, hold on a second. I am back. I had to do a mini, mini stop break because my baby woke up. He is, baby Gil is nine months. So he woke up and I said, let's do a little stop. I have him beside me. So I'm gonna grab this brush here, right here. I don't know if you guys can see. And I'm gonna be putting this uh, green green shade here. It's called Neep, Neep, Neepton or Neptun, something like that. And I'm gonna be putting it right here. So then the purple goes here. I'm gonna be mixing it up again with the dirty bag, what it's called. And the, ah, the purple is called Party Girl. So yeah, they have funny names, these shades. Really, really funny. So yeah, like I said, back in the days, the makeup, oh my god, I didn't even know about it. They had no idea that you have to use so much things to make it look nice. But it looked nice back then. Well, I could not even lie about it. It looked perfect. The thing is, I wonder why it would it would come off. 
why because it had no primer that is why but it's okay it's okay it's really okay see it's looking really nice that that green the green blue i don't know it's like it's like a mix the good part is that it's setting nice because i did the cut crease which i had no idea like i said before i had no idea about cutting crease nothing but it doesn't matter because practice makes it good and here i am talking like i had someone here with me but i do i have my kids and you guys that are watching i hope you guys really enjoy it and don't mind all this uh what's going around me <laughs> because it's better to be like they say natural and i'm gonna be using this brush oh it doesn't have it's from morphe uh i don't have a number on it actually but it looks like this one is for pick packing up the dark color and blending it i guess yeah so i'm gonna put the, the party girl right here hey how are you the party girl right here this one I had put the Neptune right here and the dirty bag is what is put behind it, like the base, yeah. So now I'm going to try to put the party girl. Again, I'm going to use the, I like to have a mirror, so I'm using the mirror from a palette I have. Oh my goodness, it looks nice. It looks really nice. I'm just gonna be blending it out. Blending it out. Blending. I always like to blend out two colors. And since it's only me, sometimes I like to with my finger because it, it's like it melts. Uh, they say like the heat does something to the makeup. I'm not sure if it melts it or something like that. Yeah, but it makes it look nice actually, and even makes it look look smoother actually. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think about it? I think it looks nice. I think it looks good. It looks really nice. Hmm. And I'm gonna go and with this brush. For Morphe, again, I don't have, doesn't have the number, so I'm guessing this is for the blending, like I said, blending and packing on the dark. And I'm gonna go with that, and I'm gonna put dirty bag right on the corner of the eye here to make it kind of smoky. And again, blending, blending, blending. That's my son's toy. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to keep on blending it. See? To make it. Yes. Baby Gil. See? It's good to blend in. I think I'm gonna add more purple. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the purple. Right here. And more green. Because it's never too much. But it makes it look nice. Right? Right, that's a secret actually. It makes it look nice, right? Ay, 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 and I do a lot of blending. And I'm gonna go on the top, right underneath my eyebrow. I'm gonna go with one of this, uh, I love this eye palette. Because it's, um, you put a little bit of water and it turns like to creamy cream eyeshadow but since i don't i'm not gonna use water i'm gonna go with 
the same brush I used for the cutting crease and I'm gonna just pick up on this shade here and I'm gonna place it right there underneath underneath I like to have um parts that are highlighted yeah papa oh that's how it is that's how it is with life if you're a mom you could understand that you are always busy always it's either the cleaning the, the cooking or anything like that but i do always say you know what we could make time for this yeah because it's best or else it's like you lose yourself between the schedule and everything yeah so it's like that i like it i like how it's turning out actually i like how it's turning out so now i'm gonna get a cloth so now i'm back i'm gonna get this uh the garnier um eye makeup remover so i'm gonna clean out the edge i still have to finish the see the other eye just notice them i'm like thinking in my mind that i had finished both eyes no i have to or else it's gonna be funny it's like one eye finished the other eye not finished oh my god that's so funny and that happens to me with one sometimes i have one hand paint done the nail and the other hand is not so i'm gonna go in with my maybelline master precise uh liquid eyeliner i'm gonna try to i was gonna put this but i don't know because i i try to match stuff up i don't know i think it's not gonna set nicely so i'm just gonna go with the black the black is Maybe with another makeup look, I'll, I'll put it on. Yeah, because you have to... Um, I mean, I try my best. And there you have it. See? Looks so nice. Now I gotta do the eye cutting crease from the other side and then after advancing to do the foundation and everything but it's okay we'll do it where's the yeah oops we'll do the cutting the crease Hold on a second. So I'm back and I'm gonna use my primer because as you can see I finished my other eye. I have to for last I'm gonna put on my mascara and my other things that I need to do. And I like to I like I really like this primer because um it's supposed to make it minimizing the pores. So hopefully, it looks nice. Oh, nice finish when i able to finish. Now, like, you could tell I actually put primer. But when I was younger, oops, no primer whatsoever. I just... The call. I just put the foundation. I am not even concealer, actually. Yeah, just... Just like that. Just like that. Here. Yeah. And yeah, there we go. Oh, and 
hold on a second. Where's... Oh, and for my foundation, I like to mix it out with this. I got this, uh, I got this uh, through, I think, eBay or Amazon. Yeah. So I just mix my, my two foundation. Yeah. yeah, two foundations. Just a little drop, but looks like it's a lot going in here. A lot. So, okay, I'm gonna work with this somehow. Make it lighter. Yes, we're gonna make it lighter. So, just tabbing it all around. All around. Plus, before all of this, I did put more moisturizer. Cause yeah, I want it to look settled. Yes, Bobby. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. See what I mean? Busy, busy, busy. But it's okay. I always, always try to make time. Because I think it would be an excuse to say, oh, I don't have time to do this. Well, sometimes I say, yeah, I'd rather skip the makeup. But today I felt like not skipping at all. So we are going to use this brush. It's actually my favorite. I'm going to clean it this week. Like the other brush. And as you can see, I have slowly put my make my foundation my makeup that's so funny i have makeup on or else it'd be like what is this called but it's like i said it's hard to do if you have two kids with you but it's because the smaller one takes uh, has, needs the attention it's obvious But it's okay. See? The foundation is already nice it's on it. Okay, hold on a second, puppy. Hold on. Hold on. You keep on throwing that on the floor. And I have to get it for you. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Here. Here. Okay, now I'm gonna go with my concealer. And... Okay, hold on a second. My goodness. See what I mean? They... I'm gonna go like that. See? I apply like that. And with my sponge that is already wet because I put the setting spray on it. Because it's no good to um use it dry because it's not gonna work smooth as uh, smoothly. See? So you blend it out nicely. Oh my goodness, it looks so nice. Yes, it looks so nice. Mm. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. The video because, yeah, as you can tell, someone needs me right now. So, I'm gonna go in with my matte list powder uh, from Fit Me Maybelline. And we're gonna I go on top of the foundation. Just like that, see? Very smoothly. Very smoothly. Very smoothly. To make it nice and settled see and then go the other side yes 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 go the other side see go the other side oh my goodness yeah see the other side always always try to uh blend it out nicely so it doesn't look like it's all in one spot and that's what I do. I blend it all. So then it looks like that. So I'm 
so I am back. I'm gonna try to do the brown scene and the contouring of the nose with this palette here. That's a bronzer. I got it from uh, Boxy Charm, and I'm gonna go in with this shade here. I'm gonna go right here on the nose, very softly, to make it kind of like smaller. Yeah. And then with my bronzing brush, I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> it's funny, but we tried to make a, a place perfect so then it goes nicely. It's like a little fish. Yeah. Da, da, da. So yeah, I did it already. I want to finish quickly because I have other things to do. I don't like rushing, but it looks like today I will be kind of busy. So right now, with the back of this uh, blending, uh, blending in sponge, you're gonna. I'm gonna try to do the, the baking. See. So then I could do the last part, the mascara and my eyebrows, which I don't do it in the beginning. Nope, never do. I know other people do actually, but not me. Not me. Let's see how this goes. Oh my goodness. There, see? There we go. Don't. My goodness. What did I say? Okay. Um. So, yeah, for my eyebrow, this is from Benefit. And this is precisely brow pencil. So, I'm gonna. For this palette, I'm, I'm gonna use the mirror so I could go in softly strokes. Very softly. Yeah, I know, puppy very softly because i already have dark my eyebrow so just want to go softly on it not too dark or else it's gonna look like oh my god so i am gonna go with this part here from the same benefit eyebrow and i'm gonna comb it and last but not least i'm gonna put the it's the easy breezy um it's like a gel for the eyebrows so it makes it stay in place yeah, and it looks really nice. And it does actually stay in place. I've been using it. So now with this brush, and I'm gonna go gently and I'm gonna be removing, see? Gently removing the baking, the powder, white powder. And I always like to retouch a little bit uh, the bronzing, the brown, the bronzing, just a little bit. Oh, I forgot. I have to do my mascara, my lips. So I am going to. This is the brush I use for my highlighter. So I'm gonna do the setting spray on it. Where's the, oh? Here's the highlighter. Yes. Hold on. Yes. My goodness. I'm rushing through this video. I am rushing. I I. So you pass the highlighting right here, and right here, and right here, just where you want the highlight to be, and I like to be there. So then with the, the big brush, just so blend it nicely, so it doesn't stay like, doesn't look like on the spot, right? I just, I like to go like that. And my mascara. 
now with my mascara and I hopefully with my lip and then I'm done because I can't do any more things I will bring more video for you guys just when I have a little bit more time yeah because I feel today I don't have too much time but it's okay the makeup turned out beautiful and it was easy like it was just one eye palette with the other one I used a little bit of underneath my eyebrow it will look nice and settled nice and settled oh my goodness this hair huh ah. the mirror see it's supposed to be left up nicely And of course you could do a setting spray spray it on your on your makeup so it stays all day but since i am not planning on heading anywhere else so i am not gonna put setting spray but if you are and you want it to last nicely yeah i do recommend setting spray because maybe by the end of the day depends on actually on the quality too of the makeup eh? you will maybe see it coming off but so far for me, it has lost all day. Even the um, eyeshadow. But, for sure, for sure, if you want the eyeshadow to last, always, always, always prime it. Prime it. Very important. And, last but not least, the lips. Which is Maybelline in the shade of... I think it's like Amazon Amaze. I don't know, something like that. And it's like this. I'm going to do it right here. And there you have it. I mean, it's quite easy to do. Always, always try to find a look that you could on. You could do easy with your time. And if you have a lot of time, I, I would say go ahead and do other colors and stuff. But yeah, this is it. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing day, a beautiful day. And thank you for watching. And yes, I will bring more stuff. And this is Marisa Bosa Makeup. And thank you for following me. And I hope you guys, if you want to see more content, to please subscribe and activate the, the bell. So then you don't miss any any video or anything that I will post up. Thank you.